Let's get down to business. All right, all right, guys. It's time. It's fucking time. Actually, you know what? Which one am I going to watch? I've got a, I've got a bit of a selection there. We're going to watch. Um, we're going to watch the 1985 Bears. Apparently, they were one of the most intimidating defenses or attacks. I'm not actually sure in NFL history. So let's look. Um, Buddy Ryan's 46 defense, 1985 Bears. All right, we're going to watch two, two videos, guys. We're going to watch one from the NFL, Buddy Ryan's 46 defense, 1985 Bears. I'm not actually sure what, what that's about. And we're going to watch the 1985 Bears, top 10, top 10 defenses of all time. And we're going to start with Buddy Ryan's 46 defense. I'm not quite sure what it's about. It says, in the honor of late Buddy Ryan, was he the coach? We take a look back at his revolutionary 46 defense and the 1985 Chicago Bears. Buddy Ryan, who is that? Buddy Ryan... 1931 to 2016 was an American football coach in the National Football League. There he is. Hey, old buddy. Hey, old buddy, old pal. We got the same glasses. <laughs> we got the same glasses. Would you look at that? All right. So he was the coach. He must have. He must have brought this type of defence, this ruthless type of defence, into the NFL and told his players to just go out and execute. This should be really, really interesting. The 1985 Bears. I like this guy's voice. The 1985 Bears defense may have been the best in NFL history. The big hits and its renowned reputation echo to this day. Hey, fellas, fellas, what are they, unblockable? Is that the 85 Bears over there? Huh? Okay, Buddy Ryan created the 46 defense. It was a complex scheme with a simple aim. Attack the quarterback with overwhelming numbers. Mike Singletary was the 1985 Defensive Player of the Year and master of the 46. The 46 defense... Uh, there he is. ...to make it very plain and to the point is all about pressure. It is all about pressure. We're going to come at you. And we're going to hit your quarterback until you get another one in. It was a nightmare, I know, for the quarterback. First of all, you have Otis and Wilbur next to each other, that quarterback's looking out of his eye. Then you got Dent on the other side. Then you got Hampton in front of you, and then, and then the fridge, and, and then Steve McMichael. That's in the fridge. The fridge! I've been told to look at a guy called the fridge. We're gonna do that next. If you blocked all of them, then who had Mike Singletary? No one! If you picked him up, then who blocked number 45, Gary Fensick? In 1985, no one pointed out. We're gonna keep you guessing, we're gonna keep you thinking. We're not ducking and dodging, we're going to have fun because the 46 defense was as physical and as nasty as, as you want to get. I was a coach, but I was a fan. I mean, I watched. I watched, I marveled just like the people in the bleachers. It was beautiful to watch. <laughs> I enjoyed every minute of it. I tell you, those guys, uh, when they got on a roll like that, it was a work of art. As that season went on, it became relentless. It was everybody did it. You know, it was mingled with Richard and Lotus and with Marshall. Marshall was, uh, man, was he. I can still see the lick he put on Joe Furrier's and I'm deep short. I've never seen him. I could have thought he killed him. Oh! Oh! Fuck! 
I'm looking at Warburg and I'm looking at Otis and those guys are just... What? Get up! <laughs> Mike, man, I'm gonna kill him. Warburg, I'm gonna get that first. Dent was saying, no, I'm getting that first. And it was going on and on and Hampton was saying, no, I'm getting that first. And, and I'm looking at these guys and I'm saying, wait, wait, wait. The guy is bleeding. The guy is bleeding at the mouth. The guy is bleeding at the nose. You don't have to kill the guy. We don't care. He's the quarterback. We're going to get him. That's what we do. Oh, no. Oh, fucking no. I would not want to play against them. Let's go watch this other video. This is going to be, this is going to be good. Top 10, top 10 defenses of all time. Who is the number one top 10 defense? Doesn't matter. We're watching the 85 Chicago Bears. With the 4 6 defense. The number two Pressure. Defense of all time. The 1985 Bears. Mike. Man, I'm hey, gonna Mike. Get, whoa, whoa. I'm going to get that first. Dad was saying, no, I'm getting that first. And, and I'm looking at these guys and I'm saying, wait, wait. The guy is bleeding. You don't have to kill the guy. We don't care. We're going to get him. That's what we do. They put the fear of God into every team that they played, and I think they won at least seven or eight games during the warmers. Huh. They might as well just brought in Romans and had lions there to eat these people because it was over. You could see absolute fear in the quarterback, and rightly so. Reminding you of one of those Jacques Cousteau shows. He told the children to let the sharks go into a feeding frenzy. That's what it was like because it was like one would hit you, then another one hit you. As that season went on, it became relentless. It was everybody did it. You know, it was Mingo, it was Richard, it was Lois. <laughs> I can still see the lick he put on Joe Ferguson out in Detroit. I never seen him like it. I thought he killed him. Chicago's defense not only hit hard, it studied hard under defensive coordinator Buddy Ryan. There he is, look at the pants of the man. Buddy Ryan invented the 46 defense, a bold system which unleashed overwhelming numbers against quickly overrun blockers. Oh geez, so basically, don't worry about your lineman, don't worry about your opposite number, look for that quarterback and fucking get there. If you had six guys lined up and they all want to get to the quarterback, doesn't matter if there's six guys in front of them. I'm pretty sure that at least one of them is going to get there, eh? Hmm. <laughs> Nobody could figure it out. It was just coming from everywhere and breathing down your neck. They were ruthless. Ruthless, man. The 46 work. Oh, nice. Dan Hampton, athletic 350-pound rookie defensive tackle. William the Refrigerator Perry, Cat Quick Pass Rusher Richard. 350 pounds, that's why you guys want me to watch him. Gary Fencing. <laughs> but the real key to the 46 were the linebackers. Otis Wilson was strong and incredibly athletic, a very, very good basketball player. Wilbur Marshall fits like a bullet coming at you, and he was ferocious and strong enough Get to there. do anything that they would throw at him on the line of scrimmage. And then, of course, Mike Fumble. Singletary, it was. I mean, it was clear we were watching a Hall of Famer. This is a Hall of Famer building his career, and it was, uh, it was magnificent. I like this kind of body! Be smart, let's go right down here. to 10 and let the right defense go to work. Right right here. Here. You know, a lot of people think Chicago's the best team of all time, and it's because of the way that defense played in the playoffs, not the regular season. That's what you want. In two bitter cold playoff games at home, the Bears' defense made history with back-to-back -back shutouts. Third down, 11 yards to go for Dieter Brock and company. Brock back to pass, the rush out. You can't... <laughs> Looks like you've got about a second to a second and a half before you've got to get rid of the ball or else this defense is going to flatten you as the quarterback. Shot the Giants the playoffs. It would have been so good to watch. They annihilated the Patriots in the Super Bowl. You know, Tony, Tony Everyone would have been just watching the quarterback, just waiting for him to be smashed. Then they battered Steve Rogan. 
and won the game by halftime. Oh, beautiful. Phenomenal. A defeat that spelled the beginning of the end for the 46. They got beat by a team from Miami, I think. Uh, and uh, Dan Marino exposed him when he threw the short passes, quick releases, getting rid of the ball. Then it kind of broke up. That one year just went, <laughs> went away, you know? <laughs> Buddy Ryan went away the next year, followed by Wilson and Marshall. But the memories of that 85 defense will always remain. You have your benchmark, and that's the 85 Bears for me. I mean, when you talk a benchmark defense, you got to start there. I'll tell you what, this defense has been incredible. They knock your socks off just to watch it. No matter how good the defenses are now, the Ravens, everybody, they're compared to the 85 Bears. What are they, unblockable? Is that the 85 Bears over there? They were a perfect defense at a perfect time in a perfect city. And, uh, I mean, that's why they're remembered so fondly, I think. Huh. The 85 Bears. Um, actually, you know what, let's, let's just look up. I want to know what that, that guy, the, the fridge is called, so I'm going to look him up next. 1985 Chicago Bears. The Bears won 15 games and won their first 12 before losing. Who made up the defense? Who made up the defense? The defense was an attack from all angles scheme that resulted in arguably one of the greatest overall team defenses in league history with future Hall of Famer Mike Singletary, who's now a coach, flanked by the supremely athletic Wilbur Marshall and Otis Wilson. The linebacking unit ranked in at number five of the greatest linebacking corps in NFL history. Coupled with a solid backfield anchored by safeties Gary Fensick and Dave Durson and a defensive line that inclu included future Hall of Famers Richard Dent and Dan Danimal Hampton, along with the gritty Steve McMichael and breakout media superstar rookie William the Refrigerator Perry. There he is, William Perry. William Perry. All right, guys. We're going to leave it there. I've got to stop. We're going to, I'm going to call it a day on this one. I want you to, I'm going to call it a day on this one. We're going to stop here. The next one's going to be William Perry. Stay tuned if you want to see that one. If you do like the, if you have liked the video, stay tuned if you want to see that one. If you have liked the video, please press like. If you want to subscribe and you're new here, please do because there's plenty more content to come. And I will see you guys back here very shortly for another video. Peace out.